My name is Razan Zaytouni, a human rights activist from Damascus. I based now in Est Ghouta, in the Damascus suburbs. The area has been liberated from the regime forces, but we experience daily bombings from the regime forces, especially from the Meg. At least three or four people killed daily in the city of Douma. But perhaps this type of death is preferable to the alternative. The other kind of death is slow and painful because you experience it every second. You see it everywhere. It's the siege, the lack of food, medicine, and oil, and feeling of being corrupt. It's really difficult to explain what being under siege means. For example, how you, can you explain to another that your child hasn't eaten egg or drank milk for several months. How do you explain that here there is no chocolate or biscuits? Rather, the only sweet we can give to our children is kind of dates, which is the same food we used to feed our cattle in the past. These stories are only some of the countless narratives describing life under siege and the regime's horrific violence. But there are many other stories to be told about life, hope, and insistence. We opened two centers in Ghouta for women where they have the opportunity to learn new skills, enabling them to earn a living for their families, and most importantly, the center allows them an environment to meet and strengthen each other with hope during this challenging time. In the past three months, over 300 women have joined the center and many others are waiting on the list. We have pursued food baskets for hundreds of families and technical equipments for dozens of activists. It's great to be able to help people in this terrible time and to keep hope alive. To offer people civil war environment where they can briefly escape the surrounding violence and death. Another goal we could achieve, which is to have better balance between humanitarian aid and civil activities because we need both of them equally. That's why the Local Development and Small Project Support Office work on many different levels, supporting local councils, small productive projects, and facilitating female training projects in different areas. We must keep this healthy balance because every level strength and support the other. As for legal work, we will continue to report the regime crimes and demand the release of all political prisoners. Let's not forget our prisoners like Mazen Darwish, the brave journalist and activist who has been in prison for almost two years now. We cannot forget that every prisoner face the threat of torture and death, and that over 4,000 prisoners have been killed thus far. Finally, the war conditions allow you to see only the ugly and painful side of the picture, but there is amazing bright side to be seen on the same picture. It's about the awesome people women and men who are working silently on the ground to achieve their dream of freedom and justice, improving daily that nothing, not even over 100,000 deaths or harsh siege or the betrayal of the international community. 
can ever defeat the will of people who has a dream and faith in the future. For all of those brave people, I bow in respect. So, let's keep working together to get their life less suffering and their future more available. Thank you to everybody for giving me this chance to get my message out.